Renowned leaker All The Watts on Twitter has shared 3D Mark Time Spy results for AMD's upcoming Radeon RX 7700 and 7800. Are they worth your time, or are they just more confirmation that this generation is a skip? Well, I actually think one of them might be well positioned in the current landscape. This video is sponsored by urcdkeys.com. If you buy a retail Windows 10 key, you could spend $100 or more. But if you buy an OEM key from urcdkeys.com, a Windows 10 Pro key will cost you only $15 when you use the coupon code C25. The keys work globally, and you can even get a free upgrade to Windows 11 from Microsoft. After you've made your purchase, you will find your key in your purchased orders in the urcdkeys website. Click on get keys and copy the key then in windows click on start and type activate and then click activation settings then click change product key paste your key you just purchased and click next your copy of windows is now activated if you want office 2021 professional you can use the same c25 discount code and get it for just 65 dollars urcd keys is running a mid-year sale with some cool mechanical keyboards gaming mice and even gaming chairs a big thanks to you urcdkeys.com for sponsoring today's video. Check the links in the description to get your cheap OEM Windows keys today. While Time Spy doesn't necessarily always correlate to gaming performance, we can get a sense of how a GPU fares against the current landscape based on its performance in this synthetic benchmark. I've put these results into a chart to help us visualize the numbers, and we see that the 7800 performs around the same as the RTX 4070, with the expected price being $50 cheaper. In my opinion, that's not enough of a discount to make the 7800 worth it, considering the better feature that NVIDIA currently has, and a better driver support. And it's not just me saying it, the market has shown that they are willing to pay even an extra $100 or more for the same level of raw performance as the AMD equivalent. If you are planning to buy Starfield, it should be noted that, just like with the other GPUs from AMD, the 7700 and 7800 should include a code for the game. So that's potentially another $60 in savings. In total, you are looking at potentially saving $100 ten dollars depending on your region and which version of starfield comes bundled is that enough to justify going with amd i would say just about so if you are planning to get starfield that might be a consideration do note that the 6800 xt can currently be had for 520 dollars and it's so close to the 7800 in performance that if you are really looking at getting the most out of your money the 6800 xt will be the best buy and i would be surprised if it stayed at that price for much longer, especially if we look at the expected price for the 7700. At $450, it makes the 6800 XT hard to recommend, as that's a $70 difference for a negligible performance difference. It's a 5% difference, so you won't really notice it in games. Even the 3070 Ti is $460, so I actually think the 7700 would be really well positioned, assuming the leaks are accurate, of course. If you are planning to get Starfield, then you're looking at a $200 saving compared to the RTX 4070, which while faster, is only actually 16% faster. I think to move a whole tier above, you'd really have to jump to the 4070 Ti, which is way more money. Now, two things stand out to me here. <laughs> Firstly, it's kind of sad that almost three years after launching the 6800 XT, AMD is launching a replacement that's only 11% faster, and at basically the same price that the old one currently costs. It's iterative and not exactly disruptive. I think anything under 25% is never really that compelling of an upgrade. The second thing that stands out is that there seems to be room between the 7800 and the 7900 XT for another card to slot in from AMD, something that would compete more directly with the 4070 Ti. And just this week, we got news that AMD is launching a non-X version of the 7900 XT, the 7900 GRE, but in China only. According to the leak, this graphics card is expected to feature 16GB 
use of GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit interface with a reduced compute unit count in the range of 84 to 80 CUs. So it would sit above the 4070 Ti in terms of performance while likely costing the same. It remains to be seen if this will make its way to Western markets though, assuming the leak is legit to begin with. So is the 7700 the first GPU in this generation that's actually worth buying? I would say yes, at least until the 6800 XT drops in price. $450 is just about at the high end of what most PC gamers would spend on a GPU upgrade, so I think it's well priced and in the current landscape I think it's very well positioned. I didn't include the 6700 XT, that GPU is in the 12,000 points range while costing $330, so if you don't mind sticking with 1080p then I would just get that instead. And if you game on a large OLED LG TV, which you should be doing, then upscaling from 1080p on the 6700 XT will actually make more sense than upscaling from 1440p on the 7700. But assuming you are looking for a GPU to pair with a 1440p display, I would say the 7700 is looking very promising. And <laughs> perhaps the only GPU that AMD has launched in a long while that makes any sense. Before I go, I want to turn your attention to my last video on graphics technology, which I think a lot of people didn't get notified of, at least judging by the comments section. And I'd like to invite you to follow me on everyone's favorite social platform, Twitter, at Cortex. Links for both of these in the video description below.